Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to Comic Book Review 47. And today I'm going to do kind of unscripted type videos for you guys. I'm going to be talking about the MCU Spider-Man and I'm also going to be reviewing the first trailer that came out. What I want to start off with is the suit, it looks good, but it's a bit too CGI, you know what I mean? Like in Spider-Man 1 and Spider-Man 2, I mean the Amazing Spider-Man, those two were like very like the suit was actually real maybe some scenes were cgi and all but like like those suits were actually real like i feel like in the mcu they just kind of like digitalize it too much and it just doesn't seem real but anyways the design is pretty good it seems like the um all new all different spider-man if you notice the spider-man symbol is like really small uh the suit itself looks very classic with spider-man you know it's a bit light. I, I thought they were going to like darken it, but this time they made it a little lighter. Now, the technology in the suit is actually pretty good too. Um, Tony Stark actually like, you know, makes his suit, makes his like, makes all these devices for Spider-Man. You know, he's got like wing gliders. He's got like some lenses that we see in Civil War. But yeah, I mean, the suit is actually pretty cool. Uh, in the MCU, there's like a lot of technology going on, you know, like with Iron Man and, and the Avengers and S.H.I.E.L.D. and stuff like that. So it seems pretty fitting that Spider-Man would have a lot of technology. Although, I don't really agree with that too much because it's like, Spider-Man's not exactly rich. And that's like a pretty good amount of technology and Tony Stark probably spent a lot on it. You know, to make Spider-Man the character that he is, he has to kind of, he has to kind of be like in tough situations and and actually one thing that's pretty funny is that every whenever he rips his suit he has to sew him himself you know he has to sew it up he can't just freaking uh like buy a new one or and the trailer is like really awesome too i mean i feel like it actually does bring up the character of spider-man first of all the actor is actually you know like 20 years old now i think and that fits him pretty good because Tobey Maguire was like freaking, he looks like a grandpa compared to the Spider-Man in the comics. It just doesn't seem fitting for him. And most of the actors and actresses in that movie were actually pretty old for the age that they're supposed to be in the comics. I mean, at least they look that way. Like Green Goblin, like he looks freaking wrinkly. As, but anyways, okay, that's another subject. But yeah, the trailer itself is really awesome. You can see like at the start of the video, there's like Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, you know, like the Avengers, these guys just kind of robbing the banks, you know. And what what it tells you here is that superheroes have become part of pop culture, you know. The Avengers saved the city of New York, Guardians of the Galaxies are in space. And since the Avengers are on Earth, you know, uh, these guys just try to imitate them. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny too, it adds to the humor. And Spider-Man just subdues him pretty easily. He's just like chilling on the wall, as you can see. And uh, the Hulk, I mean, he looks nothing like the Hulk. This guy's not even buff, so I mean, I think that was pretty funny. Okay, one thing that I want to point out about the trailer is that I don't know why Spider-Man's friend is Gank from Ultimate Spider-Man. And for you, for those of you who don't know who Gank is, he's like a like a chubby dude uh, that's Miles Morales' friend, who is the old, new Ultimate Spider-Man, because the old one is Peter Parker from a different universe. The new Ultimate Spider-Man is, is a guy named Miles Morales who has different superpowers, but still some of them are the same as Spider-Man. But the point is, I don't know why they chose Gank as Spider-Man's friend, it just seems weird because I don't think there's going to be any future opportunities for Ultimate Spider-Man, which I really want to see on the big screen, so if they put this guy here, there's not going to be any way for him to just kind of be Miles Morales' friend at the same time. It just kind of seems weird, but... And also, I'm pretty sure that he's gank because also, like, there's a scene where he drops his Lego bricks and Miles Morales also has a scene where, you know, gank uh, drops his Legos or something like that. Actually, the scene is that Miles Morales in the comics he uh, uses his electric zap and then it like sends his Legos flying all over the place. And here, Gank has like a like big construction like Death Star type thing and it just like falls and that thing is like worth a lot of money. So you could tell that both of these guys are like same appearance, uh, like both of them are kind of nerdy. So I mean, I, uh, I don't know, I, I don't think that was a good choice of characterization for Peter Parker's friend. Now, another thing I want to point out is that Peter Parker is going to be friends with Tony Stark. 
Now, Tony Stark is actually more of a comedic guy. He's trying really hard to be more responsible. At first, you know, he was in Iron Man 1, he was like making uh, missiles and he didn't know what his company was doing to the rest of the world. And he actually found out, you know, the meaning of responsibility. And it took him a while to learn that. So Peter Parker, he just acquired his power. So he needs to learn the meaning of responsibility too. So Tony Stark is like his mentor of experience and and now that he's in the Avengers and with Nick Fury now he knows all like the rules of like collateral damage and and uh, saving civilians and secret identity stuff like that so uh, Tony Stark I love that he's in this movie I wouldn't want Captain America or or Hulk or anyone else just Tony Stark is nice because this guy is comedic and he's trying to be responsible he's not always a hundred percent responsible so that's pretty cool for the characterization of the of Peter Parker you know and I'm not gonna mention too much in the second trailer because I'll review that in my next video or the one after that but um yeah like Tony Stark just kind of helps him out as being Spider-Man which is really good because I feel like Spider-Man is like the only hero in um in like the past movies you know like it's good to have a world where there's more than one hero you know because um and the, what the MCU does is that they bring other characters with each other and it, it's kind of they're still in the same universe you know it's pretty cool and I feel like it's like really great comedic timing you know like how Tony Stark you know just kind of hugs Peter and he opens the door but <laughs> Peter thinks he's giving him a hug it's just it's funny I like I love that scene and uh, another thing I want to mention is that please Marvel do not put an origin story because We've already seen Spider-Man's origin story so many times, just so many interpretations, like Batman too, you know, we see Batman's origin story in the first movie, uh, we see it in the uh, Batman vs Superman, we see it in a bunch of cartoons, like, these, I mean, I know Spider-Man is really famous and all, and uh, the first superhero movie just kinda, by default, has to have an origin, but we've already seen it so many times that it, it's just not necessary anymore. So I think what they should do is just skip it or, you know, a few flashbacks to Uncle Ben, but that's it. Just like, like five minutes of flashback and that's it. Cause it's going to be super boring. We've already seen it two times in movies and a couple more times on the, on the TV shows and stuff like that. Oh, and also another thing that I want to say is that the scene where uh, Spider-Man is like holding the boat together, you know, he's like barely clinging on, you know, he's like, He's like, uh, he has like a web here, a web there, left and right, and he's just like looking to see how he's gonna get out of the situation, but he's trying, you know, he's trying his hardest to save the civilians, and that's a really empowering scene, like, there's like this like really cool scene, uh, in the Spider-Man franchise with Tobey Maguire, where he's like, he's, uh, in front of a train, and the train just can't stop, you know, he puts like a bunch of webs, you know, uh, trying to stop the train, and that's really cool, because Spider-Man, he may not be super powerful like Hulk, but he sure damn does a good job, like, actually stopping trains, pulling together boats, it's really cool. Spider-Man is strong, you know, when he needs to be, to save civilians, which is really cool. I do like that Spider-Man is in the MCU, I really like it, because it gives us a new uh, perspective on Spider-Man, because the MCU is, like, almost always successful in all their movies, you know? And I think they've always been successful. You know, Thor 2 wasn't all that successful compared to the other ones. But, you know, every time you see an MCU movie, you know it's going to be good. Uh, so that's what Spider-Man is, like, really going to be hyped, you know. Because cause fans are waiting to see what the MCU can bring to this dude who's, like, super famous. So, so yeah, there's a lot of pressure from the MCU, but I feel like they're pulling it off, you know. I seen the second trailer and it looks really cool, but I'll review that in another video like I said before. And also a cool thing is that the suit can glide when he jumps off the building and he goes like, he's either gonna go like over the helicopter, under it, I don't know what he's gonna do. Like the blade's gonna kill him if he hits it, so he's probably gonna swing under it. I have no idea what's gonna go on there, but the suit can glide. It's kind of like Spider-Man 2099, uh, he's got like these like webs under his arm. as seen in this movie too it looks pretty cool and one thing that i wish is that the mcu could like do a spider-man 2099 interpretation or at least a cameo or something because 
I feel like they could really pull it off since the MCU is like has a lot of technology in their movies you know you've seen it in the Avengers you've seen Tony Stark use his like phone that's like glass you know it's pretty cool so overall I feel like the movie is gonna be like super great I mean I'm just saying that based on like two trailers and what I know so far but I feel like the MCU is gonna pull it off you know MCU meaning Marvel Cinematic Universe so one thing I want to mention is that I don't really care too much about the villain you know I mean every movie uh, every superhero movie at least I think it's gotta have a villain you know and the vulture he's actually pretty cool in this movie I mean he, he's a little too technological he seems more like a like another dude completely than the actual vulture because the vulture in the comics is just kind of he does use some technology to fly and stuff but he's not like over the top with the with the mask and metal suit like we see in this movie but I mean that's okay as long as we see spider-man you know and the reason why I'm saying that I don't really care too much about him, it's not that he's a bad villain, it's just that there's so much going on in this movie that I do like that the villain isn't like the main focus of the movie, you know what I mean? I'm, from what I'm seeing right now, you know? Because usually when there's like a, like a movie, you kind of focus on the villain a lot, but in this one, it's like there's so many things going on with Peter Parker's life, it's just and like his superheroing and Tony Stark and and you just don't really care too much about the villain which is actually a good thing not a bad thing it's a good thing because um, I'm gonna review a little more of the trailer now so you know it starts off with spider-man doing his thing and I actually like that he's on like upside down and then you know these guys hit him he just dodges them easily you know he punches them takes him out like like nothing you know he's got these like reflexes that are good you know we start to see spider-man's powers and he can actually like climb up walls and do things we see that he's like kind of nerdy which is more of an ultimate spider-man kind of perspective because in the ultimate spider-man series he's you know he's got glasses and and you know he's like the school nerd and at least he's not alone he's got gank so <laughs> and he sees like the like his love interest uh, she's gonna be his love interest in the future we all know it and we see that Peter Parker actually goes to school and I'm guessing he's in college right now or maybe the last grade of high school uh, we don't really know yet but he's not really paying attention in class you know he's just watching himself during the Civil War fight and my question is who's recording the Civil War fight like how do you even get close enough between a fight of superheroes and that close to the action without anyone noticing? It's just, it just seems a little ridiculous. But anyways, the teacher's like calling Peter and you know, he's a little distracted. And then in the next scene, you know, we see him like suit up kind of Superman style, like takes off his shirt and there it is underneath. And actually, you know, he's gonna go check it out. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the vulture. You know, we don't really know too much yet, so. Uh, you see like spider-man is like climbing his ceiling with his mask off and that's when his friend gang finds out that he's spider-man so <laughs> he's trying to say you know it's just a costume but he saw him on the ceiling <laughs> it's like uh, I think it's really funny how he's just still trying not to tell him that he's spider-man even though he obviously saw him on the ceiling okay so um, another thing is we see him like climb walls He's like going through the window, we see the vulture. There's a lot of windows being broken <laughs> and explosions. That, that's what we see in every single movie. It's, it's great, there's a lot of action in it. And I don't know why he, uh, he's on top of like this building with a peak on it, maybe the police are after him. Um, I'm not really sure why he needed to go all the way up just to reach the helicopter. He could have just like swung on it, but whatever. And you know, we see the vulture, we have like a really nice shot of how he looks like. He actually looks pretty cool, but I mean, it just seems really drastic. It seems like a drastic change compared to the comic book version of the vulture, you know? He's like a bald guy, he's like all green, you know? But I do like that they did add the armor, but it's a little over the top, just a little. Um, the green eyes are nice, you know, it's a nice touch. And what we see here is that he shoots like a uh, purple plasma coming out. So it looks like a spear, so I'm not really sure what that's all about. Uh, it's probably going to be something that he can like shoot a bunch of like laser beams at Spider-Man, so that's going to be a little hard to dodge for him. Like the next thing we see him uh, shooting a boat, but we don't know if he actually uh, shot the boat there or if it was like an accident because, you know, movies just kind of 
put clips together to make it seem like something's happening but the, when you see the actual movie something else is happening so we don't really know what's going on with the boat like why he's blowing it up maybe he just wants to mess with spider-man so he could save the civilians maybe make his escape or something like that you know and this is like at the end where almost to the end where he's like pulling together the boat it looks super awesome and we now we see like the title uh marvel studios you know proudly presents kind of thing and at the end which is um really nice to see we see spider-man swinging with iron man now the cool thing is spider-man can't fly obviously but he has his web so he pretty much can fly and the webs help him like get more agility get out of something a little quicker uh than you'd think so iron man is like a really good mentor in this movie as it seems so that's my review on spider-man his suit and the first trailer that came out uh, i'm probably gonna do the trailer too soon enough so uh, stay tuned to my channel i'm probably gonna upload like in uh, four weeks maybe this video i'm not sure so that's it guys um if you like the video make sure to leave a like and if you're new subscribe i'm at 40 subscribers thanks so much guys and you know leave a comment if you want to ask something know about something you know let me know what you think about my review and about the new spider-man trailer that came out it actually came out like i think last month or two months ago maybe i'm not i can't even remember but um yeah guys that's it i'll see you guys next time